Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we are here on lesson number 23, learning how to use our Raspberry Pi microcontroller and getting more and more comfortable with using Linux. If you've been here in our earlier or our uh, last few lessons, we've really started kind of getting into having more than one user on the Pi and when you have more than one user, who gets to do what. If you create an account we showed and put it in the group user, that lets that person log on kind of keeps them in their folder. They can poke around a little bit, but they really can't change other people's files and they can't do too much mischief or too much damage to the system. I believe that it was in lesson number 21, what we learned about was we learned about how to add an admin user. When you log on as Pi, the default login, you're basically an admin user by using the sudo command. You can do all types of mischief. Mischief. You can pretty much destroy the operating system if you want. So with the Pi login, you have kind of complete administrative access. But as we got into that kind of like a user, uh, a, 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 a person being a user versus a person being an administrative user, you sort of get into the whole idea of permissions and different files and different folders have different permissions. Now in lesson number 22, we really went in and we explained how those permissions work. And to kind of pick up there, we remember that we could do like an ls, okay, and if we do uh, if we do an ls minus l, it will show us the, the permissions. And we remember that D, the first character, is just saying that it's a directory. If there was a dash there, it would be a file. If it's a D, it's a directory. That's the name of the directory. And then the next three tell us what the permissions are for the owner. RWX means the person can, the owner, can read the file, can write the file, and can execute the file. Okay, the next group of three would be the group owner. Okay, you have the owner, the, the user that owns it, then you have a group that owns the file. And for the group owner on this one, he could, or someone in that group, could only read it or execute it, but couldn't write it, which means they couldn't go in and mess it up or change it. And the final group of three is everyone in the world. So anyone in the world for this folder could read it or execute it, but could not write it. What does execute for a folder mean? It just means you can go into the folder. Read it means you can look at it or look into it. <coughs> Execute means you can uh, uh, climb down in it. For a file, execute means obviously that you can execute it. So this WRX is, is kind of the same for folders and files. Okay, so how do we change those permissions? That's what we are going to look at today. And the way we change those permissions is we have to do a chmod that's going to change it. Then we have to put some numbers, some group of three numbers. So I'll just say number, number, number. We'll have to figure out what that is. <coughs> and then what file we're going to do. And so then the file. So how do we figure out what these this number, number, number is in order to get this to work? We need to kind of understand how this is going to be coded. So you can see I put spaces in here just to make it more readable. But the first character again is D if it's a directory. If it's not a directory, you'll see a dash like that. So dash means it's a file, D means it's a directory. Now when you see it, there's no space there. I've just put the space to make it more readable. You can have an R, a W, an X. You can have an R, W, X. You can have an R, W, X. R means read, W means write, X means execute. Remember how I said you had to put three numbers uh, back over here? Three character numbers, one, two, three, three integers. Okay. This is how you figure it out. If you want to give them read permission, you add four. <coughs> if you want to give them write permission, you add two. <coughs> if you want to give them execute permission, you add one. Okay, so 4 plus 2 plus 1 would be 7. So if I wanted to give everyone read, write, and execute permission, it would be 7. It would be 7, uh, 7, and 7. What if I wanted them to have nothing? I wanted them to have like D, D nothing, 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 nothing. Well, these nothings add up to what? Zero, because there's nothing there. These add up to what? Zero, because there's nothing there. These add up to zero. There's nothing there. If I wanted to do this, it would be seven, seven, 
seven. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, <clears throat> come back over here. So let's say, let's create a file to begin with. So I'm going to say, going to create an empty file. The easiest way to do that is with touch cat.txt. Do an ls minus l should show me the permissions. <coughs> what we can see is just as I created it, dash means it's a file. Read, write, and not execute for the user owner. Read, no write, no execute for the group owners. And read, no write, no execute for the world, for everybody else. So the only person that can really change this is the user, the user who owns it. Who owns it? Pi. Pi the user. Seems like there is also Pi a group, but Pi the user <coughs> is the only one that can change it. What if I don't want anyone to change it? Well, I could do change mod, and then let's go back and look at our little uh, our little sheet over here. I want zero 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 would be zero, zero 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 would be zero, and zero 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 would be zero. So. I put zero 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 and nobody's going to be able to do anything. Zero zero zero, and then that is going to be uh, cat.txt. Okay, ls minus l. Look at that. No permissions at all. Okay, let's go back over here and let's think. Uh, <clears throat> what if I wanted for the person to be able to read? read, read, okay? So the owner can read, the group owner can read, and the world can read. What would that be? Well, read is worth what? It's worth four. So this would be four, 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 okay? Let's go back and look. Is this kind of making sense, hopefully? Okay, is this kind of making sense? So I would do change mod, and then we are going to do 444 cat.txt. Okay, ls minus l. <coughs> and look at that. <coughs> Everyone, the, the owner can read, the group owner can read, and the world can read. Okay, let's try another one. What if I wanted, okay, let me just, let me just do these here. What if I wanted the uh, owner to read, write, and execute, that would be 4 plus 2 plus 1 would be 7. And then I want uh, this guy, the group uh, that owns it, I want anyone in that group to be able to, let's say that they could read it and execute it but not write it, that would be 4 plus 1 would be a 5. <clears throat> so I want read and I want execute but not write, that would be 5. Okay, and then let's say the people out in the world, all I want them to do is to be able to execute. So that would be one. So let's do that. That would be seven, five, one. So let's come back up here and let's do the, this time, this time we're going to do seven, five, one. LS minus L. Okay, look at that. The, the user who owns it, which is Pi, can do a read, a write, and an execute. The group that owns it, anyone that's in the owning group, could do a read and an execute, but could not, <coughs> could not read it. And then the rest of the world, everyone else, everyone with no permission, the random person on the street, they could not read, they could not write, but they could execute. Okay, so let's kind of come up here and let's play around with this a little more. So let's think of what some of the possibilities are. If I want to read, write, and, and uh, execute, what would that be? Well, that would be 4 plus 2 plus 1 would be 7. What if I wanted to read, uh, write, and not execute? Well, that would be 4 plus 2 would be 6. What if I wanted to read and nothing else? That would be four. What if I wanted to read and execute? Well, read is four, execute is one, that would be five. What if I wanted to write by itself, just write? 
I wanted to just write only, that's a 2. What if I wanted to write and execute? That would be a 2 and a 1. Write and execute 2 and 1 would be a 3. Okay? And then what if I wanted to execute only? That would be a 1. So do you see how that works? Read, write, execute. It's kind of like a, you can think of it as binary. This is the 1's place. This is the 2's place. This is the 4 place. This would be like 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 or 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 1. So you kind of should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you see it's really kind of just a kind of like your binary counting in there would be another another way to look at it. So with that, uh, let's come back to our uh, our terminal and let's play around with it a little more. So let's say that, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's say that I uh, want to let anyone read it and write it. What would that be? CHMOD, okay. And then what I'm going to do is I want to read and write. I believe read and uh, that would be write. Yeah, read and write would be four and two would be six. So that would be six, six, six. That's kind of an ugly number. I didn't mean to do that on purpose. My apologies. Uh, chmod that and then cat.txt. Okay. And then we do ls minus l. And then what you can see is, is that you can read, write, read, write, read, write. <coughs> so you see how this works. This allows you, we sort of now can, uh, we, we can have, uh, we can have, users with different level of permissions. We can kind of have normal users and we can have pseudo users, uh, admin users, and we've seen how to add either one of those. And then now what we've seen is, is that the given files and folders we can appoint or we can assign uh, we can assign permissions to. Okay, let me show you one other thing that you do need to know. Okay, so let's say that I want to make a new directory. So I'm going to make directory and it's going to be my files. Okay, and then I do an ls minus l and you can see that there it is, my files, and it's got uh, me, the, the owner, who is pi, can do read, write, execute. Uh, somebody that is just uh, a group owner can do read and execute and the world can do read and execute. Okay, let's change directories to my files. Okay, and then do an ls minus l and that is empty as you can see. So what's the easiest way for us to create some things with touch? Okay, we're going to touch cat.txt, we're going to touch dog.txt, and we're going to touch uh, car.txt. Okay, now we're doing ls minus l. Okay, let me also make a directory inside of here, uh, which is going to be my stuff. Okay, now ls minus l. All right, look at this. The folder is called my files. All right, inside of my files are three files and one folder. What if I wanted to change the permissions where I don't want people reading this stuff. I don't want people reading my stuff. I want to make it a little bit more private. So what could I do? Well, I could go change directory dot dot ls minus l and then Let's say that I did a chmod, and then what am I going to do? Well, I want everything seven, and then I, you know, read, write, execute four plus two plus one. Then the people in the group owners, I'm going to say no, and then the people in the world, I'm going to say no. You can't read it, you can't write it, you can't look at it, you can't touch it, you can't do anything. So I'm going to do a seven zero zero seven zero zero is sort of like the big me, okay? Me and not you is what the seven zero zero is, okay? And what am I going to do it to? I'm going to do it to my files. Okay. And now let's look. Let's do an ls minus l. All right. Look at that. I've got that as the, uh, let's see, my files. I can do everything. Nobody else can do anything. But let me show you something. If I go change directory, my files. Okay. And then do an ls minus l. 
Okay, I told them that they couldn't touch my files, the folder, but they could sure go down in there and edit it. Okay, they could go down in there and, and met, uh, mess with it. Let me, uh, <clears throat> I mean, like if I logged on as another user, that user could come in and do it because just changing the containing folder isn't enough. I needed to change everything. Well, I don't want to go in there and change all of those things uh, you know, all one by one. So let's do an ls minus l again just to see where we are. Uh, pwd, where am I? Okay, I'm going to go change directory dot dot. So I just go back to my home directory, pwd. I'm in slash home slash pi. That makes sense. This is how we would really want to do it. We would want to do chmod <clears throat> and then we would want to go, what did we say? 700 and then we would want to go watch this minus capital R that means do it recursively and then what are we gonna do it to my files okay and that will do it to everything all the way down if I did this right okay LS minus L okay look at that uh, this guy my files he can do everything he's blocked everyone else out let's go change directory my files okay let's do an LS minus L Okay, look at that. It changed all of those and it changed the subfolder as well. And so if you really want to lock out a folder, you can't just lock out the folder, you got to lock out the contents. And the way you lock out the contents is when you do the uh, chmod, you put the minus R in there and that says do it recursively, make everything down underneath it uh, that way as well. Okay, so we know how to add normal users that can just mess around and not really hurt anything. We've learned how to add administrative users. <clears throat> we've learned the meaning of these file permissions and now we've seen how we can change the file permissions. I'm hoping this is making sense. If you got some questions, leave me a comment. Think about giving me a thumbs up, sharing the video, maybe even subscribing to the channel. Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com. We will be back shortly with lesson number 24.